What's going on everybody? Chuck here and hope that you are having a fantastic day today. I don't know why I continue to do that, but I like it. I'm good at it. Breaking Bad reference. Anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be putting down this 005 CK or Seek. It is a stress reducer for your lawn. Now it is going to be hot here in East Tennessee. Is it hot where you are? Why not comment down below what your current temperature is as you're watching this video. But we have a few days next week where we are creeping up on triple digits, which is a little bit early for tip triple digits here in East Tennessee, but it is what it is. So the lawn is gonna be going through some stressful times. This is where a product like this will come in handy. Now, ideally, you have already had this product and you have put it down a couple times in the spring to start help building up that tolerance and that ability to fight through the stress. However, you still can apply this now. Just don't do it when it's 90 degrees outside. Try to do it first thing in the morning or late in the evening. Although that doesn't even work here in East Tennessee because the last couple of evenings, it's still been 90 degrees at nine o'clock at night. The heat is just trapped. But that's what I'm doing here in the morning before it even comes close. A key thing to know about this product is that a little goes a very long way. You only need half an ounce per gallon of water and each gallon covers 1,000 square feet. We do get that question a lot. We kind of interchange the terms, you know, half an ounce per gallon or half an ounce per thousand. The key thing to know is one gallon of water always covers 1,000 square feet of lawn. So it's half an ounce per gallon of water and that gallon covers 1,000 square feet. I have 3,500 square feet in the backyard which is actually where I'm gonna be applying this. So I need three and a half gallons of water, thus also needing one and a half ounces of this product. This is also a great product to mix in with other fertilizer applications. Whatever that is, if you're using 1801, 1621 to green pop, if you're gonna use green charge, which is actually what I'm gonna be doing in this video. It's been a month since I did my last green charge application, so I wanna go ahead and get another green charge application in, uh, and I'll be mixing it in with this. So that way I'm gonna get the nice foliar response from the green charge, get the, the lateral growth from the green charge, the color from the green charge, although this does help with color as well, but then I'm also gonna be hitting it with the roots and the overall health with the turf with the CK. If you haven't done so already, why not go ahead and give it a thumbs up? Because I'm about to apply this product at 90% humidity. I'm gonna be swampy. And I deserve a thumbs up for it, I think. Now before I actually get to mixing this product, I do wanna say you wanna go ahead and water this in. Don't water it in super heavy. I'm gonna probably water for 15 minutes or so after this application. So I'm gonna go ahead and water this stuff in, but 10, 15 minutes, I mean, it really depends on what kind of watering system that you have, but go ahead and get this watered in. Another question we get asked is what sort of tools we use to apply our products. And we don't always, aren't able to answer those questions because you know we don't have it all the tools that all of our creators use, so we hope that they will respond. But for all my soil applications, I use this T-Jet air induction nozzle. For all foliar applications, I use just their normal, the normal T-Jet, I don't know what the type name of it is, but, so for this application, I am going to use the air induction nozzle, so that way it actually gets things through the canopy and into the soil. I do have a new sprayer. I went to my Home Depot and I bought this. I'm gonna do a full review on this. Uh, over on my channel here in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for that if you want. Um, I do have a lot of Ryobi um, batteries, so it actually sort of fits in with what I already have at my house, so this is the sprayer I'm going to be using. It's hot outside, can you tell? Let's get the hairdo done here. 
We're still under 85, but it is humid is what it is. I don't have my phone, but it's humid. I don't know what the humidity is. It's gotta be over 90% because I'm drenched and it was like 81 degrees. It's bad. But if you haven't done it already, comment down below. What is your current temperature as you're watching this video? I'm just curious. That's all it is. It's just curiosity. The important thing with CK is you do not want to apply when daytime temperatures are over 85 degrees. You can get this in before it gets 85 degrees, but you want to make sure you water it in well. Don't overwater, but just water it in well. If you want to do it at nighttime when the next morning you have a watering cycle going, that's fine. But if you're like me and you're trying to catch it in the beginning of the day, go ahead and get it watered in and you'll be fine. I really want to hammer in the point that you do not want to over apply CK. The application rate of half an ounce per thousand should tell you everything you know. It is highly concentrated sea kelp. If you over apply it at anything really much more than that, you can risk burning your lawn. So do not over apply CK. Half an ounce per thousand at most. I just got back from a 10 day vacation the other day. And it's actually been 13 days since I applied the 16 ounces per thousand of green charge and the half ounce per thousand of CK in the backyard. Well, let me just show you. I'm not sure how well this is showing up on camera. Look at that. It's not perfect. Still working on this area right around here. There was some weeds and just where it's uneven, kind of scalped it there a little bit. Just look at it. It looks absolutely fantastic. Not perfect, mostly because of me, because I did go on vacation for 10 days. I came back, there's a little bit of scalping going on and I also need to sharpen my mower blades. Realize that now, but still, even with that, the color is really looking good. It's really thick. This is the best the backyard has looked now in the third summer, second summer, 2020. So second summer that we've had, so it's taken two summers to really get this thing to fill in, staying on top of it with my applications. I mean, it is looking so, so good. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you all liked it. If you did, please give it a big fat thumbs up if you don't mind. If anything, just give me a thumbs up for sweating profusely, whatever. But anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day and God bless.